This is our second marriage Q and A. The last one we did. I don't know how I got roped into this. Okay. The last one we did was several years ago. We've recently had our seven-year anniversary. Congratulations! We wanted to give you guys a bit of an update in terms of how we're doing, and let's get straight into it. Okay, seven years. Congratulations! I think you've done really well to put up with me for seven years. Um, what's your secret? How did you manage to do that? I have no idea. The question was. What kind of things have helped for you to be able to be tolerant and compassionate? And I think becoming a, a mother for the second time has um, had a really big, big, big impact on um, our, our marriage, I think, and my um, temperament as well. For the couples out there who don't have kids yet, yeah. or who are not that far along in their marriage journey, haven't hit the seven mile mark yet, yeah. um, are you saying that having going through a struggle yeah. together yeah. can make you appreciate the other person more, definitely. and that can help in the relationship? Yeah, definitely. How how can you artificially recreate struggle? <laughs> I don't think you'd want to do that. Personally, yeah. I've changed a little bit in terms of my character, and I think that's helped towards. Um, creating a, a more harmonious um, a relationship. I second that. Yeah, I think that um, I think I would very easily get um, go from zero to like ten in terms of getting annoyed and frustrated, and then not really thinking or not really having at the forefront of my mind the consequences of that, and not really caring about it in the moment. But since we've had kids, and also just generally, I think over time I've realised that. Once we've had an argument, the consequences of that are just, just, um, just pointless. They're just it means that we don't talk to each other for a day, or it has negative impact on our kids. And I look around and I think I'm so blessed to have such a nice family that I want to I want to enjoy each moment. Like I really really want to enjoy my time. I just have, can't afford to waste a day just not talking to you because we've had an argument over something ridiculous. So I think the biggest thing for me is realizing that. The issue itself that we're arguing about is usually not the problem. It's usually just the fact that we're not communicated properly about something or one of us has been irritable, so we just kind of egged each other on or whatever it is. And I think I've gone the opposite way. Mm. So I think I've uh, become worse over time. But I think one thing that's helped me is having taking out time. I didn't ever mm. think that it was important to actually take out time to sit with you. I thought, we're married, job done and that's it and we just live in the same house together and things like that and um, obviously love each other and just but I didn't think that actually it takes time mm. uh, a commitment and we've got to sit down we've got to spend time together I need to figure out how you're feeling mm. what challenges you're having yeah because I feel that that wasn't something I'd ever been used to communicating mm. how I was feeling and mm. what I was going through yeah it would just come out in my behavior yeah as advice for husbands, I'd say spend time with your wife every day, FaceTime where you're talking and not when, whilst you're doing something else, yeah. which doesn't count by the way. Yeah, I think it becomes more important if you have kids, but it's, it's equally important beforehand because you just get busy with life and, um, and also recognising that each person has different needs. So whereas... Fabrice might not need to talk for an hour every night about my feelings. <laughs> I might need to, and I might need him to hear that. And um, I think he's taken that on board, and he he um, acts like he's really interested and genuinely tries to have a conversation. Um, whereas before, I used to feel like it was just something I wanted. Now I feel like it's something we both want. Even if it's not what he wants, he makes me feel like it is. In summary, what you're saying is that you're coming from more of a place of gratitude now, and that's changing yeah. your mindset on things. Yeah. And me personally, I'm coming from a place of understanding a bit more, and I'm taking out a lot more time, mm. or taking out some time on a regular basis, and that's really helped as well. So yeah. those are two strategies that you can potentially benefit from trying to implement. 
we're by no means perfect. We have oh, struggles yeah. every day. And fortunately, we got to this point and hopefully we've got many more years to come. But thank you for listening to us. Thank you. Daddy. 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 Daddy.